Look, huh, I make this shit look good uh, Flexing on them cause I could Run up on me, wish you would Look, turn the bad into good Alright, this is how to do the uh, A-Pi I, I don't I think I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how you say your name Anyways This is how to do the uh, text So this is this uh, project file for the uh uh, WFX or whatever. This is gonna be in the uh, this is gonna be in the description. All you gotta do is go to name change. All right, and all you have to do is grab the name tool. And by the way, the uh, the font is Kuveteka. Cool Vertica, yeah, cool Vertica. Condensed regular. And uh, I'm gonna type. Don't panic because this is a guy who uh, wants me to do this for him, so I'm just gonna make a tutorial out of it. And uh, wait a minute. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. So. Oh yeah, and sometimes it doesn't center real, really, really well. So, I'm gonna have to try to center it by uh, just moving the position. This one's centered good. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, and then after after you do that, that's literally it. Uh, this is a pretty good replica. Um, it's like pretty, pretty. Uh, the shadow is pretty good and all that, and uh. All you gotta do is when you go to here and put it this. After changing your name like that, all you gotta do is go to render, and that's pretty good. All right, and here um you can do any format or, or what you like. I, I usually do AVI, but it's a pretty big. It's like like a, a gigabyte too. Um, QuickTime is pretty good if you have the t QuickTime plug plugin. But uh, anyways. Do RGB plus alpha and uh, name it. What's his name? And render. So I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, now after it's rendering, um, all you gotta do is uh, find it. Put put it in a Vegas, you know it should look like this. And all you gotta do is get some good cinematics. And I got these from Spixy. I'm gonna link uh, his video and uh, Ray Z's video because they both have really good um, uh, creative cinematic intros do the Jesus hallway and what you do is well first you right click properties media on matte and it should do that and this and if it doesn't do that then you didn't render it with a uh, alpha RGB plus alpha and you end this make the uh, cinematic end whenever it goes to turn we'll go about like right there where you can just barely see it and at the start, let's go add velocity. We'll go 30 frames. It says right there. And then put this up to like 500. Put this on fast. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then the end. do 20 and then put this to like uh, 600 and we'll put this put it on first Uh, 
And when it goes to when it goes to go to another one, let's do Alpha Tower. And we'll just get that blur out. Alright. Do twenty. Put this six hundred. Put this on slow. Thirty. Put it like, put that one at like eight hundred, and then after you do that, get a uh, some sort of lens blur. I'll get a. Uh, I don't know if it's lens flares. No, it's not a lens. It's not a blur. I use a. Uh, um, BCC lens blur. Mm. I don't know. You don't really have to have this. It just makes it look more like uh, makes it look more like uh, what's his name? Oh my goodness, A, A Pi. So I already got this preset. You can copy it if you want. If you have BCC lens blur. Just like put that down, and then this is basically it. This this preset I just got off of some guy from Deer, whoever Deer is. These guys like presets been like passed around a whole bunch. But anyways, let's close all this. I don't even know if you really need all all this. You add iris scale and oh wait, I'm stupid. I put this on the uh, that clip. I'm supposed to put it on here. And then what you do is wait a minute. About right here. Go add Add keyframe, get to the end, make it 10, put this on fast, and then do that for the uh, second clip. Hopefully this tutorial isn't going to be that long. Start, put the at 10, and then uh, right here, 0, put this on slow, I don't really have to, and then it should just look like this. I mean, it's not like uh, th the best, best. Like, if you want it like exactly like uh, like this video right here. Boogie, no hoodie. I need to pass so that should be. I pay when I'm ready. She want me, she see how I boogie. I move with the hunters, I'm running. I edited for my client, Corrupted. Then, like, uh, then you need a lot of more effects. I might, I might drop the project file for that if you, if you really want it. And also, uh, like the text looks a little scuffed. Here, I'll make it like how how I did in the uh, in that video. And all I did was put lens blur on the uh, on the uh, text, and went to like the same. Add that, and went to the end. Actually, no, not the end. Oh, right here. Put that 10, no not, 10, 
I'm terrible at this, bro. What am I doing? Okay. And then right here. Zero. And then it should look like this. Yeah, and if if you want to be even like if you want to add even more, uh, add the uh, BCC motion blur if you have it, and that onto here. Go to here. Motion blur. Zero animate. Go this. Yeah, go wait. Just go back to here and. Add keyframe at the start. Make it five. And then make this uh, fast. Yeah, that's good. And then. Oh, yeah, and then do that for the end. So I'm taking a little long. It took me like forever to like I, I actually do that for uh, that other video. Actually, fast. Yeah, this video is gonna be a little long. Yeah, because I'm freaking. I'm like really slow at doing this. Anyways, motion blur. Man, yeah, if you can't like click on here and it bring it here, you gotta have this lock thing on. Add start five. A little. Yeah. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Um, this is uh, probably the best uh, tutorial out there because I, there's literally no tutorials on how to do this. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video. Yeah. And please like and subscribe. You, bro, I'm literally gaining like one sub every like every like month. So.